Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create nice interactive plots in our studio using High Charter. And in this specific script, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create candlesticks and also bar plots. Let's go ahead and require some packages. I'm going to start off by getting data from Yahoo Finance for SPY. You can search through the documentation for High Charter on how to do things specifically, but in lines 8 through 14, I'm going to create a candlestick plot and adding these parameters. So I want prices and volume. And for each we have to pass in the series, I'm going to add a title. So let's go ahead and create that plot. Now on the lower right hand side of our studio, you should see the plot under viewer and I'm going to click on zoom. If you hover through any of these bars, you get the data along with the dates. We can click on year to date. We can also adjust the dates manually. So if I change this to a two, it'll go ahead and update. We can also use the scrolling bar and adjust the date ranges there. The cool part is that you can export these charts as HTML and I'll show you how to do that in the next plot we create. So for now, let's go ahead and close this out. I'm going to get data for several tickers. I'm going to get annual returns and then compare those in a bar plot. So I'll go ahead and run this block. Since this returns as an XTS object, I need to convert this to a data frame. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next block. So I'll go ahead and run that. Now we're going to use H chart to create a bar plot to compare the annual returns for each. We're going to do a bit of adjusting on the display since these are percentages and you could check out the format in the last line. So let's go ahead and create that plot. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that particular plot. So we can hover around and it'll highlight all the values for that particular stock. Now, if you want to export this plot as an HTML file, we would have to go to viewer. So let's close that out. Let's maximize our viewer. All right. So from viewer, we're going to click on export. We're going to save as a web page. I'm going to click save. And for me, this popped up in Chrome. So now we can view these as HTML. So let me drag in my browser. So it's going to save in the file location you specified. Now you can share this HTML file and it'll still be interactive. As I mentioned previously, you can search through the documentation for extra features, but I thought I'd share this with you since I wasn't aware of this package. Well guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find this script. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.